hi welcome back to my channel i know you guys are probably disappointed because i have not been consistently posting at all so today's video is going to be showing you how i train and how i stretch when i decide that i want to work on some of my skills also if you guys have any video requests for me or any video that you want me to do please comment then because i am really bad at coming up with ideas so I definitely need some ideas. That's basically all I have to say, so we're just gonna get right into the video. Okay, so first I need to show you guys the fit. We have some green Converse. I love these shoes so much. These jeans are from Target. I love them. And I have a black tank top on. I honestly have no idea where I got it. Um, and this crew neck is from H&M. So I love this outfit a lot. It's 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 great, It's it really is great. But I definitely need to change into something else if I'm going to stretch and train. So let's put something a little more athletic on. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys my new outfit. Okay, so I have this Nike shirt. Uh, my dad sells stuff and I got this from his work so I don't really like know what store it's from. <laughs> I have these black leggings that I got like three years ago or something from Target. And these shoes, I think they're Air Forces. I don't know. They're just like white shoes with like a blue Nike logo. I am so sorry. I do not know like what shoes are. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is put my hair up because there's no way I'm going to do a ton of training and stretching with my hair down like this because I have very long hair. So I'm going to show you guys my go-to hairstyle for gymnastics. I used to be a gymnast and I'm gonna show you how I did my hair because this is like the perfect hair for training. First, you're gonna brush your hair, make sure there's no tangles. Next, you're just gonna take like a black hair tie, whatever, it doesn't really matter. You can use a scrunchie if you want. I prefer these little black hair ties though so make a really high ponytail. Okay, so this is as high as I can get it. So you're just going to put it into a ponytail. If you have long hair, your arms will be so tired at this point. <laughs> then you can put another hair tie in to make it a little bit tighter. Okay, so now it is nice and tight and secure. I am going to take the ponytail and we're going to split it into three sections and do just like a normal, simple braid. Well, I actually have layers, so it's definitely gonna be hard to make this braid tight. So that's probably like the lowest down I can do the braid, honestly. Now you're going to secure the end of your hair and it's going to look like this. So now I'm going to take two hair ties. I'm going to take the braid and just wrap it around as tight as possible. Everything needs to be super tight. If you want to, you can just leave it like that. Most of the time I put a scrunchie on top just to make sure it's completely secure. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like.
really hard to find a spot to set up the camera so this is gonna have to do um so usually before i do any tumbling tricks on my air track i warm up on the trampoline first so that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> Miss Rabbit has fainted. Miss Rabbit has fainted again. some tumbling passes so we're gonna do some right back hamstrings I think that's what I want to work on today and I think I also want to work on some standing back hamstrings that was pretty crooked that's what I've been trying to work on is getting it like straight so you can see like the line in the middle so we're going to attempt that again I did not stick it so I'm just gonna continue working on those I think I'm just gonna do a standing back handspring. That was so good. That was so good. That's probably the best standing back handspring I've done in a while. This is where I attempt my run off back layout. I've done that like twice ever. It's kind of hard. We're going to just go for it and hope that I don't break my neck. So let's go. As you saw, that was basically just like a run off backflip. It wasn't really like a back tuck, back layout. It was just like a backflip. Also, the landing wasn't very good. I am really scared. We're just, we're just gonna go for it. As you can see again at the end, I did put my hands down. I think the last thing I'm gonna work on is some chain back handsprings. Honestly, I could probably only do like two or three because this tumble track is only 20 feet long. That I don't know why, but I always pause between the back handsprings. So we're going to try to work on that today. <laughs> But like, when I did the second one, I, I stopped. So that was probably, that was probably the longest back handspring I've done. That one was really good. All right, it is time for, um, it's time for the runoff back handspring back layout. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's most likely gonna be a back handspring, but we will see when we get there. Um, time to do it. You know what, I'm gonna try it one more time. And we're going to do the back layout. I definitely did put my hands down because I was scared. That is probably it for my tumbling today. Okay, so I'm done training for the day. My hair is atrocious, it is a mess. It looks so weird, so I think I'm going to take it out now. Okay, so here's my hair after a little bit of brushing. That's as normal as it's gonna get. Okay, this is like a weird looking like ponytail bun thing. I don't know. Um, and the last thing to do, this is really 
really important. I am telling you, after you're done training for like, I think I just trained for two hours. This last important step is hydrating. You need to drink your water after you exercise. It's so important. Okay, so this right here is my lovely 64 ounce water bottle. I got it from Target, I believe. Drink the whole thing every day because you need to stay hydrated. It's good for you. I am so exhausted and I could definitely use whatever half of 60, wait. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Um, I might need to drink the thirty-two ounces of water that are in here. Okay guys, that is the end of today's video. I hope you liked it. I encourage you to subscribe. I love you all. Bye!